Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be going over how to get more people to view your Instagram stories by hashtagging them and adding locations. So first off, if you are a normal viewer of my vlog channel and you have no interest in learning about this, just stop watching it here because this is not a vlog. This is purely an informational video because a lot of people have requested how to do this because I've put a lot of tweets out just showing how many views I'm getting on Instagram stories and I just think it's really cool that you could do this. So not too long ago, Instagram launched location location stories and hashtag stories. What this has done is when you go to search for a hashtag, at the very top of that search you'll see an icon that shows stories of people that have hashtagged their Instagram stories. And I've had success getting anywhere from an extra 200 views all the way to 1600 extra views and this includes follows this includes profile visits and this inclu it, it it gets people watching my videos more i'm going to show you how the tags get categorized and then i'm going to show you how to do it yourself if i go to the story that i just posted and i open it up it's it'll play here and then if you swipe up and you look at who has viewed your profile, you'll actually see here like 21 people viewed it from this Atlantic Highlands story. And if I go there, if I look at the Atlantic Highlands t tag, it's it's a town in New Jersey. Right now there's no other hashtag stories there, I guess, I guess mine expired. If I go to New Jersey, you'll see at the top, this is a, a hashtag story. So if I flip through here, I could see there's multiple people that are posting with the New Jersey tag. Uh, I got one for hashtag beautiful, hashtag drone, 137 for hashtag instagood, and, and so on and so forth. And it's just a new way of getting people to view your story. So I probably got an extra, I don't know, 400, almost, almost 400 views just from tagging my post correctly. All right, so now that you guys have a better idea of how where these views come from and just an understanding of hashtag and location stories in general, I want to upload a video that I created and show you how to actually tag it. So when you go into Instagram and you go to upload your story or you're just going to take a picture, you know, you go to the camera screen. In my, in my case, I'm going to be uploading a story that I did. So here's the edited version. Um, and I definitely want to start out by tagging the place that it's in. So if you tap the stickers, and then you add a location, it gives you an option to add wh wherever you were. So what I have found is if you add a very specific location versus abroad, you have a higher chance in getting into two categories versus just one. So the, my example would be, do I tag New Jersey or should I tag the town that it was taken in? So I'm gonna tag the town that it was taken in. And I'm gonna place it off to the side just so it's not like so distracting from the content. So the next step that I want to show you is I want to go to the text part to add a text and this is where I want to start typing in hashtags. So uh, I found a good one to be uh, tagging the location that you're in. So I'm, I'm going to tag New Jersey, I'm going to tag NJ, um, I'll tag drone because it's most of it's taken with a drone. I'll do time lapse. Um, and, and, and I try to get like five or six when I post, uh, like Instagood has been a pretty good one. Um, and one more that I would use for this would be sunset. Oh, and not, and also to mention that emojis work too. So I'll just do the fire one. So now this is where like a, a good trick comes in. So so if you look at the screen here, I have all the hashtags here that I typed out. So now if I start dragging that, and then I take my other finger and tap somewhere on the other part of the screen, I can actually take those hashtags and place them off of the screen. And it just makes the video a lot clearer in my opinion. I, it's not cluttered with hashtags, and I found that to be a really good trick. So. I like leaving the location tag on, but taking those hashtags and just sliding them off 
gives you the reach without people actually thinking that maybe you're trying too much to get likes or it's just kind of in my opinion it's just hashtags in any type of text is so distracting from the content you're making so now i'll add this to my story and i will cross my fingers so i wait for it to post and this is this is the hard part because not every single hashtag or, or story in general gets placed into those new streams of information so there's really no guarantee this is going to happen but the more that you do it the more likely it's going to happen and like i said i've had a lot of success in seeing my content reach more people just because i've tagged it properly so i hope this video has helped you uh reach more people on your instagram if it did please give me a thumbs up and i'd really appreciate that and also follow me on instagram it's at a n d m u c c and uh, i would appreciate if you subscribe to my youtube channel i just do vlog videos and capture everyday life and I have a family a wife a son and we just do a lot of we we try to do a lot of fun things and um if you have any questions, leave a comment below and uh, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. Oh, and one more thing before I go. Um, my story made it into a stream. Uh, I actually made it into a new one. Uh, I got into the, here if you can see. I got into the United States story. I've never gotten into that before, but you could see that I got into a couple of different ones here. New Jersey, uh, amazing, uh, the fire emoji, and I just get a handful of views. And this is only, this is within the first 22 minutes of it posting. So uh, to be completely honest, I actually, I posted it. I didn't see anything happen in the first five minutes. I deleted the post and I reposted it again. So maybe that is a useful tip uh, also to, if, if you don't see it indexed right away, maybe just repost it again. Um, but I'm stoked every time that happens and, uh, and I'm sure I'll get a couple extra hundred views from it and uh, it'll be awesome. But shout out to Jeremy Sharapa for encouraging me to do this video uh, because I, I've had people talking to me about like, how do you do it? What, what should you do? And he was just like, dude, you need to do a YouTube video. So I did it. Here it is. Shout out to him and uh, check his channel out because he puts out some awesome shit. Not shit, but like really good content.